Well, hey guys, and welcome back to Doing With Jason. I'm Jason, and today I will be showing you all about a tape measure. I'm gonna just show you all about a tape measure. What does that mean? So many things to learn, so many things to see. I know I didn't know anything about a tape measure until about 14 years ago when I first started doing cabinetry and furniture. I was like, yeah, it looks uh, eight sixteenths, 12 sixteenths. Yeah. So it's okay if you learn something in this video. Don't be embarrassed. I, I kind of was when I had no idea, but it didn't matter, you know? I eventually learned how to read one. It, and look at me now. Jason. And hey, if it's your first time watching one of our videos, we really appreciate it. Go ahead and like, subscribe, do all that stuff, and check out all our other stuff. Jason's tip of the day. Just the so when buying a tape measure, you always want to check that this little play right here is set correctly, and possibly if it's ever been dropped, that would be bent and throw off your measurement. So what I usually do is I check at the hardware store and say, okay, that's roughly right under an inch and a half. Now I'm gonna burn an inch, which means you go to the first inch in the first marking, and then you go to it on the wood, and that's how you check if it's accurate. Also, what this little piece is for going in and out is to basically measure the inside. So that makes up the difference for the thickness of this right there. So we got the thickness incorporated in that, and that's why this moves. Jason's tip of the day, just the tip. I present to you the tape measure. Okay, so now let's get started here. Here's an average tape measure. You don't need one that's 25 feet long if you're building cabinet and furniture. I just so happen to have this one because a friend of mine left it over and you know, hey, it's the one I'm using. Thanks, JD. So now when you open up a tape measure, there's all kinds of numbers going on and lines. Now, let's look closely at this. Okay, so obviously we have our numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and so on, but it's these little lines in between that make all the difference. So, starting basic, we're gonna go right here. These little lines are all sixteenths of an inch. So the first line is gonna be one sixteenth. The second one will be an eighth. The third one will be three sixteenths. The fourth one will be a quarter. The fifth one will be five sixteenths. The sixth one will be three eighths. The seventh will be seven sixteenths. The eighth will be half inch. Eighth, get it? Eight sixteenths, that equals half. Then the ninth one will be nine sixteenths. The tenth one will be five eighths. The eleventh one will be eleven sixteenths. The twelfth one will be twelve sixteenths. Ha ha, just kidding, it's three quarter. The thirteenth will be thirteen sixteenths. The fourteenth will be seven eighths. The fifteenth will be fifteen sixteenths. And then you got a full inch. So that breaks it down. So if someone wants two inches and three sixteenths, you know exactly where to look. Hey, and if this is your first time laying eyes on me, you should probably subscribe and like their videos, all that stuff, you know, because we got a lot of stuff all up in this interweb. So keep following us.